Johnny Money Boy again. Welcome to another video. So this is another book review video where I will talk about one of the books that I read from last month, which is March. And I pray that this habit will continue because I love it. It forces me to read more and, you know, having, you know, real content that people might enjoy, I believe. Anyways, so for this month's video, I am going to talk about this book that I've read in March, which is... Bridge to Terabithia by Catherine Patterson. So, um, so I, I, this, there's a disclaimer. I'm going to spoil a lot concerning this book. So if you haven't read this book or watched the movie, yeah, I guess it's not the right video for you yet. But of course, if you don't mind the spoilers, you just want to know about the content, whether it's worth reading, stay tuned and check it out. I think I first watched the movie instead of reading the books. I only read the book when I grew up. Uh, so, uh, my most vivid memory of this book was the two characters here creating this imaginative kingdom. When I was little, I kind of echoed to that ex imaginative experience I had with my brother where we create our own secret corner, uh, secret codes, imaginative beings and rules and kingdoms, stuff like this. And that's definitely what's happening in the middle. I think the most parts of this plot where these two kids Im created this imaginative kingdom. It's super exciting. But when I grow up, what what became the most vivid moments for me is no longer imaginative kingdoms and stuff, but rather the adult stuff that was mentioned here. The dark and tough reality of adulthood. Or the, the shift from childhood to adults. Things uh, that you have to deal with. Are, these are things that left a mark on me. I would say this book is great because it fits... Um, people at all ages, as I've mentioned, no matter children or adults. Uh, for for adults, um, here's a big spoiler. I said, at the end of the story, the girl here dies. And it's everything happened so fast that even as a reader, I didn't expect it. I, as Of course, in a movie, it, um, it has similar effect. But it was... Very subtle. It was hinted. Her death was kind of hinted. As a kid, I never truly realized she left. I guess because the movie was meant for kids. They don't want her to make it too dark or too sad. So it wasn't really that clear. But in the book, it was so, so very straightforward. And immediately gets that the girl died. And it's what is that, an accident. It's just happened the next day, you know, it, it, there was this happy moment and the next day she was gone. Just like that. Whoop. And that moment, it's such a shock that even me as a reader couldn't deal with her fear, her death immediately. And of course, and inside there also men, like mentioned some hardships of adult life. Um, the background, especially for this boy, it's not like flowers, rich family, happy. You can see that the father and the mother was struggling. It's very uh, not, it's not similar to children's book, uh, normal children's book, where they make the family looks very you know, complete, very happy, uh, wealthy, stuff like this. It shows you the harsh reality of life. That this kid here doesn't have a good you know, family background. Um, so that's what I liked about this book. And I kind of I still could fall in love with it and read it, even though this was meant for kids. I believe. Another good thing about this book is it's not like very thick. As you can see, it's very thin and it only have, uh, let's see, 128 pages. Which I really like. I like books that are short because I don't have a lot of time reading. But I try my best to read as much as possible. And I'm so glad that I realized they have a book version of it. I thought it was a movie. But then I tried to check online and realized, oh, there's a book. And I decided to buy it. It should be the book before the movie. So, yeah. I'm so lucky that I decided to... Go search for it, whether there's a book for it. Um, I would say uh, it's very important to watch the movie and read the book as well. Because for the movie, it helps to, you know, fill in more information on their imaginative kingdom. As for the book, it helps the movie to explain more about 
the adult stuff. You, know, you could actually feel the the sudden death of this girl more clearly in a book, and the emotions this boy has to grow through more, you know, closely than the movie. Because in the movie, it's everything at the ending. It's happened so fast. You can't really feel. You cannot sympathize with the boy that much, and you couldn't feel the 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 sudden shock that you have towards the girl's Leslie's death. So yeah, this um, is. What I want to introduce to you guys this month. This is my book review. Anyways, I know it's a bit short, but I am going to talk about the books that I am going to read in the following month, which is this month, April. So to show you that I am trying to force myself to read more this month, which is April, my book list would be first to complete this, which is a paperback fictional story, the uh, a court. Of thorns and roses, and this is one of the books that I would definitely have to complete—a fictional paperback story. Um, I, as you can see, I'm reading here. And the second is to complete this short story collection, *The Wizards* by a series of authors. I think I've completed most. If you look at my content, where I tick all the stories that I've read, I've read most of them. Did you see that? But I think I still have uh, two or three stories left that I haven't completed. So I hopefully I can complete this collection as well. So this is another paperback short story collection. And then the third um, book that I will read will be uh, from my Kindle, an e-book. Uh, it is a non-fictional book. I think it's very famous, The Sabians. So um, I definitely want to read more non-fictional books instead of all fictional books because I have to increase my knowledge. Uh, so Sapiens is one of the books that I have already tried my best to um, read it and listen to it because I also brought its uh, audio book. And the fourth book that I am trying to complete would be The Legends of Eve. Um, so this is by a, I think, a very brand new author. And I do want to read some of the works by, you know, non-mainstream authors and thus I chose Legend of Eve. I will try my best to complete these four books in April and hopefully I'm praying once again praying that I will complete this and I will choose one of these books to do a book review on for next month's video. Anyways, I guess that's it for this video. Hope you like it. Hope you are convinced to buy or read that book Bridge to Terabithia uh, and watch that movie. And yeah, let's end this video by saying remember to stop existing, start living, and be alive. Bye!